Welcome back to the channel guys and today you're going to be getting part 6 of what if Deku was a saying guys and the light go for this one is going to be 140 get this one to 140 and you'll be getting part 7 as soon as possible and comment down below and tell me if you want me to change anything or what you think about this episode and if you're a new subscriber comment down below and tell me guys I'll be replying to all of you and share it on all of your social media platforms. So without further ado, let's get straight into this. Start the intro. So, to do a little bit of a recap, Deku as did his first Kamehameha, mix it with the energy of one for all at 20%, totally destroying the giant robot. You guys can switch across and check out the playlist and then yeah, come back to this one after checking out episode 1 to 5. So let's get straight into part 6. Deku looks over at the girl that he just saved and he smiles. I am glad he said to himself because he saved her. Deku smiled at her and then he passed out and fell unconscious due to using one for all at 20% but that wasn't a problem for him. The main problem was that he merged it with his key so he wasn't ready for that yet because he was practicing it with all might but this was the first time he had completed use it. So he has used so much, he passed out and fell unconscious. And the Kamehameha was one of his most powerful techniques. So it had sapped most of his energy reserves. So that is the reason why he felt unconscious. Right when Deku hit the ground, President Mike yelled out, Time's up! The buzzer went off and signaling the end of the practice exam but none of the students and most of the staff wasn't paying attention to that most of them they were all staring at Deku because that display of power he just used and that was so incredible never in their life has they seen someone use a technique like that and the scale of destruction was incredible. Not even All Might had did something like that. Usually he smashed villain with his punches, but he never released a beam such with such force like that. Most of them thought to themselves that that attack was in competition with All Might most powerful punch. What kind of crazy quirk allows someone to do something like that? What was that? He just used some kind of laser beam at the zero pointer robot and completely disintegrated and it shot right from his hands. This guy is amazing mumblings came from the people around Deku. They wasn't merely around him because Deku Kamiyami had the force behind it ended up pushing back most of the students a bit so they couldn't be exactly right around him. The examinees and the staff continued to comment on Deku's strength and power. All was in shock of what Deku had shown and they couldn't believe that someone was on that level of power. Everyone was totally confident that Deku would make it into the hero course of UA. Although Ida was having a different option to them himself. All of them are missing the point he said. Didn't they see? Ida turned his head towards the girl that Deku just had saved. He knew of the risk and the danger and the remaining time of the exam but even though all of that he risked it all to save that girl and that makes him a true hero because this kid put himself in danger to go back and save that girl 
even when everyone was running and then Ida had a little bit of flashback when he ran past Deku and saw Deku on the ground just standing there just sitting there and then he stood up Ida ran past because he was kind of scared of the robot too when the giant zero pointer just came out and everyone was running and Ida merely looks at Deku and just keep, kept on running and now he found out that Deku risked it all to save that girl Ida thought was cut off when he saw the short elderly woman giving out some gummy beers to the examinees as she walked closer and closer to Deku Oh my, she said, when she walks up to Deku and said, You are hurt this much by your own quirk, because his arm was bruised and battered, and a weird pinkish color. This was the result of using one for all at 20% and the Kamehameha wave at the same time. It was really incredible, but it put a huge strain on his body. She thought to herself, if as his body isn't used to his quirk yet but that wasn't fully the case Deku's body wasn't used to using 20% and the Kamehameha wave together so that is a huge reason why this happened that is why Deku is working so hard to try to find a way to combine the two quirks so we do not have to wait, waste much stamina or damage on his body as a result. What is a hero with godly power if he destroys himself with only one attack? The elderly woman leaned down and gave Deku a big kiss on his forehead. Some of the examinees asked what was that and the mumbling started to go around the, like the group and everyone is talking about her and tell them that she's a nurse of UA. She is the backbone of UA High School. So this is why they did all these dangerous things on these robots because she is here to fix all of us up. Her name, Recovery Girl. After kissing Deku on the forehead, a huge green light of glow came around him and his arm began to heal up. His wounds faded. Recovery Girl looks around and asks, Let's go through this quickly shall we? Is anyone else injured? As she went to a couple of examinees who suffered minor injury in the battle against normal robots like cuts, scrapes or bruises. Some time has passed, approximately one week later. The week has been a blur for Izuku Midoriya. When he woke up, he found himself in recovery girl's office. She explained to him what happened after he took down the zero pointer, how she healed him and how was everyone impressed with the amount of power he used to take down that zero pointer and to have the courage to stand up and face that giant thing alone and everyone else ran away. He was such a brave young man, she said, complimenting Deku. Deku asked her if anyone else got hurt by the zero pointer. She replied with a no and Deku breathed a sigh of relief. He was happy that everyone else got him through without any major damage and he was the one to take down that giant thing and so everything would be good from now on he thought to himself. Recovery girl was impressed because she didn't expect Deku to care so much about others. The first thing he said, yeah, he awoke in the hospital and he wants to know about other people injuries. So he really cared and he really have a kind heart. She thought to herself while looking at Deku. Kids these days are usually only concerned how flashy their quirks are, but not this kid. He is a rare breed. He already had, have the mindset and the spirit of a hero. And with that kind of powerful quirk, it's no guessing that this kid one day will become the most strongest hero in this world has ever seen. I even believe that he will surpass even All Might if he trained 
and learn how to perfect that quirk. She finished her thought and she asked Deku if he felt alright and he told her that he felt better than ever. He also felt a little bit stronger after she healed him, which is weird. But Deku brushed it aside because that was really weird. How does he feel this more stronger after getting wounded and healed? He doesn't know about the Zentai boobs guys, so yeah, but he's getting stronger. When he got home that day, Momo called him and asked him how was the exam. Deku first explained to her that the written exam was a piece of cake. He is pretty confident in himself that he got a perfect score. He then went on to tell her that he got 141 points in the practical exam. Momo was absolutely shocked and she told him that that score must be a record or something. Because the only people to get over 100 points are Endeavor and All Might, she explained to him. Deku was shocked after hearing this because he didn't know that information before. He felt pride in himself to be one of the peoples in history to get over 100 points in the hardest hero course practical exam in all of Japan. Deku knew for sure now that there was no doubt that he was going to get into UA. Deku told Momo that he would have gotten more points if it wasn't for the zero pointer creating chaos and nearly crush a poor girl. He explained to her that he couldn't let someone get hurt or worse when he could do something to get rid of the pain and the destruction out of the way. He could stop all the chaos. Momo got a little flustered when she heard Deku's words. She knew that he has a high level of selflessness. Even though he could have gotten more points and surpass all my record in the history but he decided to put that off to save a girl's life. That was the right thing to do and that's what it means to be a true hero. After hearing all of this, that just makes him more attractive in her eyes. When he told his mother how he did, Anko was delighted in happiness. In order to reward him for what he did and she was successfully know that Deku had passed the UA exam after hearing all of this and to know that Deku scored over the 100 mark. So she made him a reward, she made him his best meal and super sized it because Deku could eat a lot, yes, because of the same genes he got, Deku's appetite was almost limitless. So she made food. He could eat all he wanted until his stomach could take no more. Deku cries tears of joy and thank her over a million times and calling her the greatest mom in the world. Back to the present day, it was Evelyn. Deku was on the couch lifting weights. He felt different. He missed the feeling of looseness. Yeah, looseness and lightness when he felt when he took the weights off because now they were back on and he felt kind of slumped down a little bit but he knew he had to fight through it and get more stronger so he could perfect his attack. Ever since the exam, Deku hasn't been able to contact All Might. He hasn't answered any of his text messages or call. Deku at first was worried and thought that he didn't get into UA and All Might was disappointed in him and didn't want anything to do with him anymore. But Deku just calmed down and guessed that he was busy with all of his hero work. He is the number one hero for crying out loud. Of course he will be busy and not have much time to contact me. Deku just hoped that he will hear from him soon. Deku promised that he wouldn't tell anyone about one for all. All Might entrusted him with his power. He needed to remain as a symbol of peace until it was Deku's time to inherit the torch and become the next symbol of peace. So 
he would keep his mouth shut. Just then, while sitting on the sofa, Deku could hear the, the key reaching into the keyhole at the door and turning like the person was anxious or something. It was Anko, his mother, bursting into the living room. She said, Izuku, 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 Izuku. She could barely keep it calm. Deku said, calm down, what's wrong? And she said, it's here, it's here. And Deku said, what's here? And she showed him an envelope with a red stamp on it from UA. Five minutes later, Anko was pacing up and down outside of Deku's room. She was really nervous for the exult. The results, because she knew how much getting into UA mean to him because he's been doing hard work over the last 10 months just to get into UA. After opening the package and setting down the hologram, Deku realized after listening to All Might for about 5 minutes, Deku yelled out a yes, yes I am in because he finally get the answer he was waiting for. He was accepted into UA. But he kind of already knew that he was going to get in anyway. He didn't have a doubt in his mind he was going to get in. He had a bit of doubt but it passed once he think of the amount of points he's gotten. They could know about the secret component added to the test because he was the only one to get rescue scores. No one else got rescue scores. He was the only one because everyone else. After Uraka, Uraka walked into the office explaining to the examiner that she wanted to give Deku some of her points because the only reason why Deku didn't got more points because he saved her from getting crushed by the zero pointer so was it even possible for her to exchange give him some of her points. Deku blushed when he found out how kind this girl was to give up some of her own points and risk her chance to get into the way. They told her even if she asked, she cannot give her her points, but there was no reason to give her points. This kid did very well in the entrance exam and he was a sure foot in to get into UA. So there was no reason for her to give up any of her points. Deku got over 201 points after getting 141 villain points and getting 60, 60 rescue points. So, Deku was a sure foot in to get in and Uraka also passed because she got rescue points too and she got villain points and when you add those all up she passed and got in. After watching the screen Deku began to tear up, tear up, tear he started to cry uncontrollably because he was so shocked and happy at the same time to know that he got into UE. But guys, I'm gonna end here. The next time you're gonna see this what if Deku's gonna get into UA and there is where the real fun starts. So yeah, I'm gonna end right here. Get this one to 140 points, guys, and you'll be at the next part as soon as possible. But for now, I'm out. Peace.